All right, yo, what is good with y'all? We have every single weapon in the game, all weapons. We're going to put them on a tier list. I deleted the F tier because I don't really think there's any F tier weapons. We have my boy uh, Burimbez, who is a Quincy main. We have my boy Milkman, who is a Soul Reaper main. And I'm an Aronkar main, so we have three different opinions from every race. Yep. Yeah, let's get y'all. All right, and let's just get it off. Let's just start off. We got Haribel, the dagger. I'd put Haribel in, like, uh, top mid A, like, like high, high mid A. It's really good. The crit insta guard breaks. Uh, you have to be kind of cracked with that. I'm not gonna lie. The M ones do kind of suck in my opinion. But um, the M two lunges forward, guard breaks. It's a pretty easy combo. Like starter, combo extender, everything. And then we have uh, Grimjaw claws. I'd personally put Grimjaw claws in high A as well. I might even put it above um, Haribo in my opinion because it has that M two that it guard breaks, sends up into the air for easy Hakuda combos. It's for Hakuda obviously. Um, I'm pretty sure you can also combo extend with it while you're in the air. And next up, we got Ink Shikai. Uh, Ink is just kind of a solid Shikai. I mean, it has good M1s, good range, and it has a good M2. And it's used with Hakuda. So I'd put it definitely in mid A, probably. I think that's what I put. Probably it. below Haribo, though, right? Yeah, I put it below Haribo. All right, we have Cutlass. All right, yeah, so Cutlass is a very solid weapon. It's crit Insta Guard Breaks, and it's what I used to name before uh, the new update. Honestly, I'd put it like low A because just because of the fact that Mr. Guard Brace has the same crit as the fan, it's mobility, just very solid weapon. Yeah, but the M ones aren't too crazy. Oh, uh, we got Baragon. Are. I'd put Baragon. Uh, I don't know if I'd put it above Cutlass. I think I would actually put it above Cutlass. I mean, Baragon is crit made, like most of the weapons on this list. They are. It's like it has a really good crit. It like basically insta guard breaks. It does really high posture damage. It has a hyper armor crit, obviously. And the M ones aren't too bad. All right, next up yeah. we got Quincy Shield. Quincy Shield's a very solid weapon as well. Also, Insta Guard Breaks. Some people are really preferring it right now, but uh, honestly, I'm more of a Cool Age main. So, if you want to rock it, you can rock it. It's like, you'll still be solid with it. it. I'd put it like very low A, but still good on the list. Maybe I think I'd put like high B though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, next up, we got Ukiora. Um, Ukiora, I'd put it like top of A, bro. Honestly, I'd put it really high A. Ukiura Katana has one of the best crits in the game. It did get nerfed. The crit no longer insta guard breaks, but the crit also, it's like still has a big hitbox. So it's like really easy to land. The M1s are pretty nice, pretty fast, you know. Like, what else could you really want? The crit is really easy to hit. I played it a lot. So, next up we have Shikai Katana. All right, honestly, I think Shikai Katana is definitely top of A so far. Um, it has really good M1s and good M1 speed. The crit is cracked. It just it's pretty much just pre nerf longsword. It just pulls them in and it starts like it's it's an easy combo starter pretty much. It isn't pre nerf longsword. It's like the pre rework. Yeah. No, I mean it pulls them in. Yeah, it pulls them. It's pretty good. All right. Uh, next up, <clears throat> we have Noitora. Yeah. Um, Noitora is very. It was, it was pretty under radar for a while. Um, it's trying to get like a little bit of traction. It's really good. It has a lunging crippling crit, and honestly, I'd put it like right below Yukiura just because of the fact that like I mean it's still getting traction right now but if you're cracked like this could be an S tier easily all right we're putting Warden in S I mean yeah, yeah. Warden's th there's no talk about it so basically Warden is a weapon where you will you'll use your crit and then it'll chain them on and you can just pull them in whenever you want whenever you chain them uh and so basically what you can do is you can loop like almost infinitely with that shit because yeah there's just no downsides to it at all you it, just, it's just like, a combo, really solid combo. weapon yeah like there are times where you can just go you hit them with the crit then you use this like up fling thing with hakuda and you can immediately combo extend with the down slam i, I have no clue how exactly it works since i'm not a hakuda man but if you are going hakuda that is the weapon you want it is the ideal weapon yeah it's the best hakuda weapon in the game all right we have fans uh i think i'd put fans above cutlass because they have better m1s but they essentially have the exact same crit fans crit insta guard breaks it's used in rank uh quite a bit it just has an insta guard break little AOE. It's like a little bit. Now, I might even I might even put it above Baragon, honestly. I see a lot of people using it. Alright, so next up we have Antithesis. Antithesis is a really solid weapon. My boy Josh uses it. Uh, bef like before the updates and all, it was like really it was really solid because uh it has like a lunging crit. I personally don't didn't like it too much, but still if you want to use it, again another solid weapon. I put it above low clearly, so it's just an insta guard break to my knowledge. I'd put it like what mid A. Yeah. Honestly, I think I'd put it uh, below Ink though, because yeah. Ink has that stupid cripple. All right, we have Blood Edge. That's me in the screenshot. I main Blood Edge. Blood Edge is definitely S. 
Uh, does it go above Warden though? I think it does go above Warden. Um, Blood Edge has two crits, one air, one ground. Both have hyper armor. Both do insane posture damage. The ground one actually just insta guard breaks and it lunges forward. It's so free, dude. Oh my god, Blood Edge crit is so free. Blood Edge crit might be one of the best crits in the game. That's why it's an S, obviously. So I definitely put it in high S. The M1s also do good posture damage and do pretty good damage. And next up, we have Longsword. Longsword, uh, this is definitely top of S. Most busted weapon in the game right now. Uh, that rework, it just gets a clone that just hits you for free. Free lunge move, free combo starter, free everything. And that is fast than one speed. It just does everything that every crit does, but better, pretty much. And if you, even if you cancel the first hit, it just still hits with the second hit on the crit, bro. It's so busted, bro. And it does insane damage. It has like dagger swing speed. Yeah, it, it, it does everything. Uh, we have Quincy Glock. Uh, Quincy Glock is another really like really great weapon. It's an it's bottom of S tier in my opinion. But, bottom uh, of S. It, it got quite a bit of nerfs before. It was easily the best Quincy weapon just because the amount of damage it did, how unpredictable the M1s are to parry. Uh, has two two crit variants. If you're in the air, it'll do like these uh, triple shot down, and then if you're on the ground, it'll do these uh, rapid fire shots. Really good weapon. I personally prefer Quilliage over it, as I think it's the best Quincy weapon right now. And, and let's just using. let's just move on to Quilliage. Yeah. Uh, yeah, speaking of Quilliage, it's it it is the best Quincy weapon right now. I like easily for me. It has an it has an insta guard break like per range shot, and the thing about it is that the animation of the shot is not matched up with the hitbox, so it's really easy to guard break people with it. And it slows uh, and like stuns them in place. It's slow so annoying. Stuns, yeah, it, it's a really annoying trip. The so, M ones are yeah. also like really unpredictable, so I'd I'd honestly put it above Warden. Yeah. All right. Next up, we have Dagger. All right, dagger. Um, this is definitely going top of uh, not the top of S, but like near mid high S, because I mean the crits just it's just goaded. You I think mean, it's, it's above warden? Uh, no, I actually don't. I'd put it. I actually yeah, I'd put it right mid low above S. block. Yeah. Um, it kind of fell off because of you know because of everything that's in S right now, but um, it has a really good crit. You can get a lot of you can get a lot of range from it, and it has really good in one speed. And with yeah. confusion, it goes crazy with confusion. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, my God. All right, we have Wonderwise. Uh, right. Wonderwise, honestly, I put it in, like, I put it, like, B, like, low B. Wonderwise, mm -hmm. like, it, it kind of sucks. It mm -hmm. has an insta guard break crit that does big damage, but the crit hitbox is literally trash, dude. I'm sorry. The M1s are slow. I personally just cannot mess with Wonderwise. Some people, I've seen some people, like, make it work, and they kind of go crazy with it, but... I'm not one of those people. I don't know if I'm bad or whatever. You can call me bad if you want. Wonder why it sucks. It tastes not good. Are right, we have hammer? Hammer is definitely going. Uh, honestly, I'd put it mid B. Um, mid B. It, honestly, I'll not put it low B. Yeah, low B. Because uh, I, yeah, I mean, it has the same thing as uh, Grave Sword. Pretty much, it has the one hyper armor swing, and it has a a decent crit. It's decent. And yeah, the, yeah. Crit, the crit kind of carries it, and the crit still yeah. isn't that good, so. Alright, next up we have uh, Quincy Claws. Uh, Quincy Claws was the Hawker weapon before um, Warden came out. Personally, I, I, I liked using it, but uh, it's just not as good as an option anymore since you do have the best Hawker weapon in the game as a other option. It only fell it's off because Warden got yeah, added. It only, literally the only reason it fell off is because Warden's a thing. Uh, it's still a really solid weapon. If you prefer it over Warden, I don't know why you would. You can use it, but... um. Like, it, it's because of Warden, it's a B, in my opinion. Like, high B. Like, high B. Do you think it's yeah. above Shield? Uh, honestly, yeah, probably. All right, we have Nelio. Uh, Nelio sucks, bro. Let's keep it a stack, bro. I'd put Nelio, like, eh, it's, it's hard between low B and high C. Um, yeah, I think I'll put it high C. No one rocks Nelio anymore. It was somewhat decent before the update, but, like, Nelio's crit sucks, bro. Nel Nelio's crit hitbox is like the hitbox of like an ant, bro. Like if you get hit with Nelio crit hitbox, you might as well just never play the game again, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Nelio's crit is trash. It insta guard breaks, whatever. You're never hitting it. And then the M1s are pretty decent. That's the only reason it's in high C. The M1s are pretty decent. They have um weird animations, so you can't really pair them that well. Next up, we have Spear. Uh, Spear is definitely going. Honestly, I'd put it in B, probably mid B. Uh, I personally put it above the. Wonderwise. Yeah, I put it above Wonderwise. Um, 
it's just had kind of one of those weapons with a high skill cap. If you're good with it, you can make it work. You can mix really well with the crit. But other than that, I mean, it's kind of just mid overall. I mean, it's it's pretty good though. Uh, next up, we have Grey Sword. Grey Sword. Uh, that's definitely yeah. That's definitely going in D in my opinion or C, depends. We could put um, a top of D. Yeah, put that top of D because all it really gets is just a hyper armor M1, and <laughs> the crit is trash. The crit's horrible. What is like, it? The crit is like a little slam down. It's pretty much as like, like it, it's it just blood edge, but like blood edge junior, and you don't jump. Blood junior. <laughs> it's just trash. Uh, we have a scythe. Yeah. Scythe is definitely going in. Uh, I put it in C with Nelio, honestly. Above it or just below? Has, though? I put it below, honestly. Uh, yeah. Um, it just has slow in ones, and it just has a, it has a little pulley, little pull in crit. It's just not that good. Uh, we have base Quincy sword. Base Quincy sword is kind of like a meme, like in uh, the Quincy community, like you just shoot the sword itself as a crit. It's a guard breaking crit. It's really, it's nice. It's just not as good as any of the other options that you can have. So I'm gonna have to put it like, like very high C or low B because it's just really not the play. It's, uh, it's, it. it's a fact that it's better than Nelio's crazy. It has a better crit you know? than Nelio too. It does because like it, it's a fast, it's like a fast arrow. It's just not as good because you know we have a better ranged crit, especially one that just doesn't even have a matching animation. So you know. All right. Next up, we have a uh, dual blade. Dual blade. Um. Honestly, I put it above hammer, just because I mean the crit, in my opinion, is better. It's a lunge crit. Anything with a lunge crit is just automatically better than hammer. Yeah, it's pretty, you can like mix um, up with shadow. Yeah, and also I mean in Bankai against Bashoguma. And so that, that, that's like one of the kids only upsides pretty much yeah the fact that it's below wonder why says enough all right we have uh sr hakuda and honestly, SR hakuda. Man, uh, make another yeah, tier. Bring, yeah let's bring back that let, let's, let's bring back the s tier uh the s tier my bad for sr well sr hakuda is the worst weapon in the game uh, it's horrible hold on, let, me, let me put in parentheses super f because sr hakuda is terrible uh, it, is unusable. it might be the only weapon on this list that is unusable no, like, it's bro, listen, so bro, bad. On, on a quick side note, the dude in this screenshot that has it, bro, you're running Creation SR Hakuda, you're cooked, bro. Get off the game, bro. Like, that, that might be the worst build I've ever seen in my life. Uh, on, an, on another note, the SR Hakuda is so bad, people will be using, um, like, the ink sword instead of it. Yeah, like, yeah. It, it's just that bad. <laughs> ink, yeah, ink and flower. Yeah. All right, next up, I mean, last, we have Twin Blade. Um, twin blade is honestly, I put it, I, I put it below site. Uh, I mean above site actually. Oh. The crit, it's a little bit better in my opinion. I'm not gonna lie, uh, it's like it's really mid, but at least has a lunge, unlike uh, unlike scythe. All right. And for the uh, for the last one, let's just put that in place of flower she got because we forgot that one. Oh yeah, we did um, forget about flower she got. You're right. Yeah, flower she got. Honestly, I'd put it. Mm, I don't know where I'd put it, honestly. I might put it, like, Flower below. Flower Shigawa is good, dude. I'd put it below Baragon, honestly. Or above below it, Baragon. above it. Uh, above, above it, actually. It's pretty much just, like, like you know, Shikai, uh, what's it called? Katana Shikai Jr., pretty much. Bro, it's like, kind of hard to gauge it, because Flower Shikai users don't M1, so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't see them M1 a lot. You just get, like, hit by 80% of the things <laughs> like that. All right, yeah. but yeah, that's that's about it. In conclusion, um, if you're not using any of the weapons in S tier, you're probably cooked. Um, uh, I just want to let y'all know, like, if you disagree, let me know in the comments. Drop a sub if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. All right.